This video is sponsored by PellucidFX.com. Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the ForexPisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Well, in today's video recession gold market, we will take a look only on the daily time frame because on the intraday charts, in fact, we have just significant plunge down and no patrons market, in fact, has passed through there. All significant supports that uh, were on the road of the market. And that really could give us the sign how weak market is. Because uh, yesterday's patron, although market has shown some action around the levels that we have specified yesterday, but market, uh, in fact, when we have discussed this potential three drive buy or something of that sort in butterfly that starting to form there, uh, market has failed here um, to show the any ret retracement to the upside. So that was our level, that four hour ch chart, that was our butterfly on the hourly time frame, you probably guys remember that, that was butterfly that we have discussed, and we have seen this thrusting candle to the downside right for the 1618 extension. Well, usually when the butterflies fail, they usually fail miserably. What, it, what does it mean? It means usually that market, if a uh, market doesn't show the respect of the butterfly target, it usually leads to the significant continuation. Even if you'll take a look at this butterfly, if you could treat it as the butterfly, of course, as you can see, this potential uh, left wing, right wing. So 1618 was something of that sort, this here, and market also has passed through it. Well, currently, as you can see, I do not see any patrons or something of that sort. And probably, uh, we, this is some period of, of expectation on the gold market because we will have to understand uh, and what what really could happen here and uh, we need to wait some patrons or something uh, my particular interesting is uh, how market will behave around the support area support range where it stands right now whether we could treat it, uh, this uh, behavior is the really breakout for the conference support without any respect to this area or market still uh, will swamp in this area and will show some reversal patron or maybe will turn to the upside still. But the one moment that is really worrying me is this really fasting move to the downside. Do not pay attention to this upward candle. This is some bag on the Alpari UK. This is very often when the Alpari uh, UK shows the failure uh, candlestick on the daily time frame. They will fix it close to the open of the United States market, uh, but some sometime in the morning this happens on the Alpari data. Actually, this here should be some downward candle to the downside. I'm speaking about this cluster, this is Confluence Support 1618 extension of that ABCD pattern and slightly lower stands the uh, monthly pivot support one. But the moment that market has passed uh, down, again, right back down below the monthly pivot point. It just has tested weekly pivot point and turns to the downside again. It has broken this harmonic swing to the downside and in fact has passed through the confluence support without any respect, at least currently. This tells us something. Well, probably this will tell at minimum that market should reach 618 support. This is at minimum because we know that the uh, gold market likes 618 levels. And speaking uh, from the perspective of the weekly time frame, if this retracement can show the sh uh, could show the gradual action, something of that sort, gradually move to the one to six one eight support, we could say that well, this is in general acceptable because from the weekly point of view, that is the first move to the upside. Deep retracement is quite natural, especially if you have such sort of action. You know what I'm speaking about to the downside. This is a solid momentum to the downside. Press on the market and deep retracement is logical, but I do not want to get such sort of direction at the retracement. When market shows this move, such sort of direction here, through the all supports, that is not just a retracement. That's something different. And uh, we have to understand what is it in reality. How deep market could continue to move to the downside. Because if market will fail to continue to move to the upside here, 
this could uh, lead to the failure of, of our uh, medium term plan of the reaching area around 15 even 1550 area on the gold market as the seasonal retracement that should continue move to the upside because market now stands in the seasonal bullish trend that should hold till the February and as history shows uh, market very often shows the significant decrease uh, decreasing with the seasonally bullish trend sometimes market stands flat but seasonal factors supports market from the significant moves down uh, if this will be broken and market really will show the depreciation right to the previous lows well this really could show, could show the drastic uh, downward continuation this could mean that trend to the downside is reestablished so that's that's why I, I don't want to hurry uh, even speaking from the short term perspective well uh, after this solid plunge down I do not want to take the long position uh, first because I have, do not have any patrons just yet and second because I do not want to take the long position after such move to the downside such moves just tell us that momentum is solid and are usually these moves uh, very rare stops at the point and turn to the upside is the V bottom very often this uh, moves to the downside has significant continuations you can see something of that sort small bounce and continuation to the downside well even if as here market shows retracement up usually market has attempt to continue with move down well that's why I do not want to take long position here besides this Friday well um, and the second I do not want to take a short position as well because market now stands at some area of support so that's monthly period support one confluence 1618 so this really the swampy area for the bears and uh, this very unstable price action could fall mm, it's better to wait in such environment some, some clear setups at least some clear patterns on the intraday charts that you could trade uh, fast so grab the profit and just step aside that is the way of action that could be here currently could be applied here on the gold market but currently as market just has hit this support uh, just ent has entered in this support area just finished this plunge down I do not see really much what could be done today on the gold market